Let's see if we can find the product of x minus four, and I'll put that in parentheses, the product of that and x plus seven. And like always, I encourage you to pause the video and see if you can figure it out on your own. Well, there are a bunch of different ways to tackle multiplying two binomials like this, but the way that I like to tackle it, especially if we're just learning how to do this, is to just realize that we can apply the distributive property that we all know and love. And how do you do that? Well, you could just think of this x minus four. We can distribute the entire binomial. We can multiply the x minus four times the x, and we can multiply it times the seven. So let me rewrite this. So we can write, rewrite this as if we distribute it, it would be x minus four times this x times that blue x, and then plus, we're also distributing the x minus four. We have to distribute on all every one of these terms. So it's also so plus x minus four, x minus four times this seven times the seven. Now what is this going to be on the left hand side? Well, the x times the x is going to be x squared, and then the x times, this is minus four, or x times the negative four is negative four x. And then over here, I distribute the seven. Seven times x is seven x, so plus seven x. And then seven times negative four is negative 28. And now we can simplify this a little bit. We see that we have two first degree ter terms, two terms where I have a certain number of x's. And so we can combine these. So I have x squared. If I take these two middle terms, if I take negative four x and then add seven x's, that's going to give me positive three x. Negative four plus seven is positive three. So positive three x. And of course we have the we have the minus 28. And we're done. We just multiplied these two binomials just using the distributive property twice. First, we distributed the entire x minus four onto the x plus seven. So you got x minus four times x plus x minus four times the seven. And then we distributed the x onto the x minus four to get what we see in yellow here. And we distributed the seven onto the x minus four to get what we got in green here. And then we just simplified a bit.